Hi, my name is JC, and today we're doing a facial analysis and overall attraction analysis of one of my followers. If you would like to get a facial analysis as well, you have two options. Either you can do the one that is public, where you can essentially volunteer and you'll be posted on my TikTok and YouTube, or you can do the private one, which is the texting line that is on Patreon. If you want to do the public facial breakdown, then reach out to me on IGDMs. So let's begin. Yo. Yo, what up? How are you done? Luke, so just curious. So before we start, I always kind of ask, what was the first video you saw of mine? Like, how did you hear about me? Um, I think on TikTok. As far as like how I get started, I start asking you, what are the things to get to understand your habits and how you developed the way that you are by what you have been doing over the pen past 10 years? Yeah. What kind of sleep do you have for the past 10 years on average? How many hours? On average, probably I feel like nine, eight or nine. All right. And what is your normal diet? And how many calories do you take in per day? Recently, so I'm, I'm a taller dude. I'm about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, so recently I got really into like fitness and learned about, uh, you know, like diet and stuff. So probably I aim to get at least 4,000 a day. So my diet consists of, you know, a lot of it is like peanut butter, meat, milk, you know, oats. You said you're about 6'4". Can you set up the camera and then step back so we can see? I'm about six, Okay, six, step six, all. Do you have an injury right now? Yeah, I broke my, my fibula. And as far as your parents, is your dad tall? Is that where the height comes from? Yeah, he's he's about 6'3". My mom's about 5'8". Eyebrows. Uh, eyebrows are pretty pretty dense so he does have above average eyebrows which are thick and dense and without eyebrows you can start to look a little bit androgynous here i'm going to give you an example in three two one however how androgynous you look will be determined by how many masculine or feminine features you have now this is an average eyebrow most of you have this type of density the one on the left is the original above average eyebrows and the one on the right is the augmented average eyebrows what kind of style do you have normally or what you wear i wear like fitted shirts i'd say like to my i guess my body type um, I don't like wearing loose clothing. I wear, I guess, above the knee shorts and, you know, just like casual wear. Do you have any particular colors that you like or do you just get whatever? I try to go for, I don't want to be like, you know, like real flashy, I'd say. So grays, blacks, white, and like a little work. So I'm going to start talking about certain things that I'm hearing. For as far as like your style, I would say that it's important to not just go for, I think a lot of guys just go for the grays and the blacks and the whites. And there's so many more things that you can choose from. And I'm not saying get a bright pink outfit. That's not what I'm saying. However, yeah. there's a lot of room you can pick within the neutrals. I, I have a lot of different pictures on my Instagram of like different things that you can do as far as like for colors for your skin tone, mm -hmm. understand yeah. that when you create an outfit, it's not just about an outfit that looks good, it's about an outfit that looks good on you. So he has green eyes, only 2% of the entire population has green eyes. Then we see he has curled eyelashes, which can be a feminine trait that can complement other masculine features. Two things I'm noticing right now. Are you very, I'm curious, are you expressive with your face? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, um, I'm like, very social. Like, do you smile and move your face a lot when you explain things? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm more of like a thing around friends and stuff. I'm like a jokester or I like, to play, I like joke around. So I'm, I use my face to, I guess, get a point across or whatever. Gotcha. So the reason why I'm asking is because I see the possible beginnings of nasal labial folds that are around your uh, nose to, ma uh, to mouth area. You like, see those lines when you smile? Yeah. Yeah, like right here. Yeah. Yeah. So how old are you right now? Um, 18. 18. So the more you kind of like are expressive with your face, especially with skin that possibly, well, you have oily skin, so it's less likely for you. But the more you are expressive with your face, the uh, higher amount you're going to exacerbate getting deep, deep wrinkle. And I'm not telling you not to smile. That's not what I'm saying. But I just need you to understand like how wrinkles are formed it's kind of like uh when you go to a nike's shoe shop and you know when you bend the nikes and it starts to make creases on the nikes that's essentially yeah. what your face is so every time you crease your nikes which is your face it's kind of like leaning towards getting a wrinkle and think about you get a thousand creases in your face you do that a thousand times then you'll slowly get a permanent wrinkle we're gonna now clear up his skin to show you if he had a proper skincare routine in three two one 
I think it looks pretty good, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And I'm guessing you don't wear sunscreen when you go outside every time, correct? I don't. Next one. Do you wear cologne? How often do you wear cologne? I do, every day. Every day. Do you ever get complimented on the cologne? Yeah, I wear um, Versace Pour Home. Do you have any extraordinary talents that you would be the top 20% in with anyone that is in that field? For instance, in to give you an example, yeah. like for instance, if you were to be a singer and you would have people from all over the world and you would be the, the top 20% of singing. If you were to be a soccer player and we would have every professional come in around your age, you would be the top 20%. So it's okay if you're not the top 20%, but I just want to know if there's any abilities. It could even be a tel intelligence. But when I say a top 20%, I actually mean very much so, not in, your, in a small town. I mean like in general. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I'm good at sports. Um, I'm above average at sports, but I wouldn't say, you know, probably my area, I'd probably be top. Um, on a, like, on a national level or state level, um, probably not. Okay. And that's okay. And that's okay if you're not yeah. the top 20%. But I just figured I would ask. Okay, so that would be average as far as, like, talent right, right now. Next, we're going to look at the nose. So I asked him to submit a couple of pictures. So there's a little bit of flexibility when it comes to noses for men, just like there's a little bit more flexibility with jaw lines when it comes for women. However, if we were to conform to Western beauty standards, we might make his nose a little bit smaller. But the purpose of this is to show you an alternate reality of what you would look like if you were to do some of these things, just so you know and understand the options that you have. But what do you guys think when I augment his nose? Is it good, bad, or more or less the same? So I'm looking at your hair, hairstyle. Is this normally the normal hair that you usually have? Yes, yeah, it's, it's gotten pretty long. This okay. is, I need to get hair to it, but I've let it grow out a little bit and it's starting to get a little crazy. But just imagine this, but shorter or what more well kept, I guess. You have a pretty uh, long, long hair right now. And the thing about it is when you're creating a, uh, a look, sometimes with hairstyles, people can create nice, sharp lines. That doesn't mean mm -hmm. that you have to do sharp lines. But longer hair is technically a feminine trait. I would make it shorter. Okay, from here we can see that his cheekbones aren't as pronounced, but what if they were? So this is the augmented version of what his cheekbones would look like if they were a little bit more pronounced. And so this is a side-by-side -side of looking at it. Sometimes you can achieve it by being lean or wrestling a juvederm. Do you, I know you do athletic stuff, but do you work out? Like lift weights? I do. I do. Okay. How long have you been lifting um, weights? Consistently, probably March, six months. Six months, okay. And as far as your voice, it seems anywhere between, it would be around low, I would say. Like, what type of body type do you want with working out? I just out? want to fill out what? my frame. So me being like, fill out your frame. it's going to be so way harder to fill out my frame. So I guess just doing that. Yeah. Um, I know having a taller physique looks better when you fill it out eventually. Um, it's just time. And I just got to... I just, I just had to be consistent, I guess. It's it's time and diet, honestly. You have to eat a lot more food. Uh, it's food for your body to function than for a smaller person to properly function. From here, we can see he has a strong square chin, which is a nice way of bringing a lot of masculinity into the face. And then we have a full lips one to two ratio uh, for full lips and then we go over to the jawline. We have an above average jawline. You can see it a little bit more pronounced in the front area rather than the side, but overall it's a pretty above average jawline. But what if you were to gain 20 pounds? What would that look like? So this is essentially what a person would look like if they were gained 20 pounds. You notice that the jawline is a little bit less defined. And essentially a lot of you guys are around this weight class. So you're more or less looking like the right than the left but you still have the facial structure it's just that you're a little bit overweight and you won't be able to see it unless you were to lean out around 10 percent body fat do you have a job currently i do not or what occupation are you hoping to get or graduate um i'm looking at engineering um but i haven't decided yet because of um math i don't i don't like math but which is a big deal in that but um the money's good, but I've also looked at like business, finance, um, like money, something that involves money, just so I can be financially sound or, you know, understand money.
I think you should really take the opportunity of like your height and the opportunities that you will get with your height and your looks to get the best jobs that you can. You actually are in the, you statistically will have opportunities to get higher paying jobs because of your height. Mm -hmm. And you need to fully understand that and fully take advantage of that and try to get the best job you can. Are you hoping to get married at some point or are you like what relationship wise are you just trying to have fun or like what do you where are you, what are your goals right now and what are your goals down the line dating wise right now right now i'm just trying to um focus on myself i think and then you know later in life okay. i guess i plan I have to do i do plan on getting married but right now i'm just kind of trying to get through you know school it's kind of hard to have a relationship and all yeah we got all that going on. And, and I, fully, I fully agree with you. And I think that you should focus on yourself right now. And I feel that once you are a little bit more settled in your career, that's when you should open dating because sometimes dating can be a distraction uh, to getting your goals because you're not in the... If you find someone that doesn't have the same goals as you, it can almost be a distraction. So I also think it's important to see how we age over time, see how the wrinkles get a little bit deeper with the expressions that we normally have. And this gives us a good idea about that. Also, one thing I would say as far as financial things that you can do right now that I wish my parents told me at your age, I wish my parents told me about starting and building your credit. I really wish they told me to get like a small credit card now like that's like only $500 and don't even really use it, but just like build your credit. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, um, you said for like ethnicities and stuff, is there anything like predisposed no. for me being, cause I'm, I'm a mix of like multiple, um, like I'm not just white. Um, like, like my dad's half Mexican and um, he's also okay. half Danish. And my mom's an eighth or a quarter uh, Native American. So is there anything like predisposed or um, something that, you know, I might be excel at just because of that background or maybe, you know, hindered? No, I wouldn't necessarily focus on that, honestly, just because also it's, you're, it's not like you're half of something. <laughs> the biggest thing that I would say is if you're talking about ethnicities and uh, being mixed, uh, one, that means that you might have a lot less likely of having certain health problems. Uh, however, you should just be aware if you have that um, in your family to know the health of your family long term, just so you know if there's yeah. anything that you should be looking health wise. That's kind of like what I would kind of leave it at that. I wouldn't look too much into like, is there anything that you're going to excel at or not excel? At? I would just try yeah. your best and do the best that you can and just kind of go from there. For the people that want someone to talk to about this type of topic, I have a 24 seven texting line where I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Reason why I created this texting line because I know a lot of you don't have an outlet of a person to talk to one-on-one -on -one about this stuff, about self-improving physical appearance, about self-improving long-term goals and making a better quality of life. It might be a little bit difficult to talk to your friends about these types of topics. So I essentially created this so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one kind of conversation about this on a regular basis if you want to. So there's a couple of different tiers that you can look through, but you have to be 18 years or older in order to join. And all tiers include a personal facial breakdown. So now we're gonna see what he looks like if we were to apply all of the features. So first we work on the skin, and then after that, if we were to make the nose a little bit smaller, and then after that, we raise the cheekbones and make it a little bit more pronounced by either leaning out a little bit more or it would be Juvederm or Restylane. And then that is the end result of what he could possibly be if he were to apply all of these things. No, Ryan, are your DMs like open still? Like if I have a question in the future about something, um, can I uh, ask you? For the most part, a lot of the questions are going to be oriented towards this kind of facial breakdown. And if you want mm -hmm. to have any additional questions, that would be more so for the texting line. Um, yeah. I will, like I said, send you the links to like other information that we've discussed already. But if you do have further questions, you can either reach out to me on a live for general questions. However, if okay. you want a consistent 
back and forth kind of like communication that would be for the texting line and i would love to do a follow-up with you maybe six months from now i try to do follow-ups with people every six months just see how they're doing what they've tried to you know work on improve and um take what it whatever you will with uh the information that i gave you and uh yeah look looking forward to hearing from you six months from now yeah thanks man yeah all right you have a good one man all right have a good night